Evil Jibber here with another round of Assassin's Creed. How to be an assassin. Got ourselves some manhunt going on in the brewery. Now, I don't know if I've said it before, but I'll say it again. I hate manhunt if I'm not playing with people I know. We'll find out and delve into this a little bit deeper after this round is done. So we start off, we're on the hunting round, and our team is immediately going to work as a group, or supposedly work as a group, to try and kill the Redcoats. I see my teammate go for the kill, I'm looking around, then he doesn't go for the kill, then he gets a contested, then while I have a target I can't go into kill animation because my other teammate had a kill animation, and it's just a giant old clusterfuck. Ends with her dying. Okay, moving on. Now, we're going to have a lot of points here where my teammates and I are going to be stumbling over one another to try and get the kill. The difference being I'm trying to go for an actual point-based kill, and they run in for a quick 100 points. So, at least uh, that first kill you saw was done properly instead of the guy who jumped up on the railing with me and ran forward to try and get the murder. <sighs> So there's not much really to say about Manhunt other than you really have to be playing with teammates that want to play the game with you and not just try and beef up their score. And at the same time, you want to beef up your score because this counts against your Abstergo value, which to me makes absolutely no friggin' sense. If your teammates cock block you, why do you have to pay the price? Ah, well. Anyhow, I could go for the kill, but reviving a teammate is far more important to me. And then I get stunned. You have been stunned. Which means that he gets stunned. Then he gets stunned. Then I'll just take the discreet kill to get her out of here and pick up a teammate again. Had my other teammate been paying close attention, he would have known that she was trying to kill him. Little DD. Or stun him. So off we go. Uh, I was able to spot one of them. And so from a long distance, I'm going to use a firecracker in order to reveal him for my teammates. She's now blind, so... Oh, a gunshot. Well, that's useful. I have a target here. Money bomb. See the smoke. And my teammate goes in for the kill. Then there's one in the hay bale. Gets taken out, etc, etc, etc. It's just one of those series of games where either I'm not on the ball or I may have been... Uh, replaced by some kind of evil clone. So, yes. The benevolent chipmunk instead of the evil chippy was uh, playing this time. See him go in, get myself an incognito. Unfortunately, it's just a basic. Double Pick up my friend. Kill. Double multi kill. So, unfortunately, the next round is um, just as bad because this uh, manhunt falls apart. But as you were going to see, um, my team is possibly filled with arrogant lone wolves. Possibly. <laughs> so, landing here. See two teammates are down. See the wipe. I'm gonna go for the shot to get him out of my way, but no. My other teammate takes a second to pick up the other teammate. And I'm gonna wait for her to appear. And I see an entire group. So you know what that means? That means firecracker. Oh look, two of them standing. Shoot one. That one takes off. Would have been nice if uh, my teammate had actually went for the kill. And there's a stun. I'll take that. That's an incognito. And pick up my friend. 500 points. Not that great, but the revives are kind of making up for it. I have a target trying to tell my allies where they are. And that's the thing about Manhunt. You know, as much as you want the points, at the same time, make sure you target the opponents so your allies don't feed them. Because that happens a lot. You and unfortunately, that happens as well. If you don't spam the kill button like a lot of people do when you go around the corner, uh, you're going to get slapped. You're going to get punched. People are going to stop you from doing anything. This person runs right beside me, gets herself stabbed. This one runs off, and I'm going to go for a quick chain. There's a money bomb for some reason. See the 
last opponent there, and I try and pick up my teammate, but for some reason I ran past him because I'm drunk. So that was a terrible game, or terrible round. 10,000 points for my team, 10,250 points for my team. Whoop de freaking do. Now, we lose Dark Knife 59 because he decides that he doesn't want to play anymore. Or he just doesn't get any points. We'll find out at the end of this. So, right now, the teams are pretty even. Your objective is to hide and now we're on the hiding. At which point, when you start, I'm just going to talk to everyone out there that's watching this to be a better assess. When you start, always find a hiding place with your team. Don't wander off like the two teammates I have have done. You have a free 5 to 10 seconds at the beginning where you can be racking up a crap ton of hidden together points. But they've gone off and they've chosen different corners to hide in. That's not good. That doesn't work. That is a bad plan. Take a spot where you can hide with teammates so you can help each other. By the way, the red coat team are all in a group, and I'm pretty sure they're all on Skype. So here I am, waiting with my trip mine. See that my teammate just died. See that my other teammate is dead, which means that they're coming after me. So I see all three of them up on the roofs, and they're coming in. And that means I'm more than likely to die, but you know what? Ha! Mug in the face. Take off. And get shot. I should have stopped running not to give her that, those extra 100 points, but meh. So then again, I take a hiding spot, and I'm looking for my teammates. One of them is dead. Always good. And the other one is I don't know where. That happens. That happens. Still dead. Okay. So there's my other teammate, and he's just going to wander off that way. So I'm going to put down my trip mine. I'm hoping Jer Ninja comes to assist me. But, uh, well, as we'll see at the end of the round, he won't. Uh, there's a reason for that. He is a very smart fellow. Now, I have done a mistake here. I have moved too far out of my giant orb of happiness. And that means that I can easily be killed. But I haven't realized this because I figure that this will still trigger the smoke bomb. As you'll see, it does not. So I target the Marston because I think it might be a player due to the lag. But no, no, it has to be that red coat. Marston's just drunk. So watching the red coat, watching the red coat, and I should have lucked out to attack, but I was waiting to see what was going to go on. And then comes the other one from the side and chooses me out of just luck. Down I go. As you'll notice, the trip mine also didn't go off. So now I'm taking a spot near I near Revel Revelation, Revelation. Revelation Tion. Whatever. So at least we're getting double hidden. Team hidden for 20 points every few seconds. That's good. That's good. And where's our last teammate? Oh. How good. We've lost him. And then I get shot. Down I go. Respawn. There's no meta. Uh, oh, never mind. He just left the session. So we are down to two people again. Yay! You know what that means? That means... We don't have a chance. No, I think we're three. I think we're still three people, because there's no way two people have that kind of support. I hear the shield. Give it a kick in the nuts. And take off. Because that means that my smoke bomb also goes off at the same time. Hee <laughs> hee. Now, I see that I have two teammates still. One of which has died. And one of which is straight ahead of me. But if I take off, I'll make myself session. obvious. And I know that that red code is the same one I just dealt with. Unfortunately, it looks like my team just decides to stop having me as one of their people. And I should have smoke bombed, but I was wondering why exactly did my meld group decide that I wasn't part of them? Just bad luck. Just bad luck. And you'll see in the next round, like, uh, this play, th these, these games were just bad luck for me, man. And it happens. I mean, you can't get angry about it. Sometimes you get really, really shitty luck. So I'm hidden at this point, and I see Jir Ninja over there, and I think maybe I could go and join him. 30 seconds remaining. But then the whispers start, so I'm going to go right here. See these red coats. See both red coats. Ah, oh, that's definitely a player. Knife. Wait for the stun to start, and she still gets to punch me. All right, all right. I, I guess that that's okay. That happens? Question mark. So at the end of the game. My team got thoroughly stomped 
for a 4,000 point difference. And you'll see that I believe we lost our person who was in number first, number first, number one originally who was first. But uh, these the LSC group, yeah, we we lost him. We lost our 5,000 point guy. So yeah, could have been closer if he had stayed, but he didn't want his score to go down. Eh. Well, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for joining me. Have a good one. <laughs> Tune in next time for a really embarrassing show.